The alarming discovery started to unfold when the PPMC, the PPPRA and the NNPC officials could not give a unified account of how much of kerosene is imported, distributed and sold to marketers and consequently the retail price at which the product is sold to the public. The committee, in probing further on the manner of documentation and distribution of kerosene, found out that the PPPRA up to November 2011 paid subsidy on kerosene even when the product had been removed from the subsidy template and was selling for over 150 naira per litre. The common man is not your concern. If it were, the common man is your concern. Because the common man is your concern. You would have he asked him, how much is he selling? Is he selling out of our agreed price? All are aware of it. the challenge is, if there was is all over the table, not the problem there. So that's the problem. But it's the same process and procedure that we use to distribute PMS that has no problem. That we use to distribute kerosene. So let all of us come together and find out why. The committee, in trying to harmonize official information on subsidy, queried the Accountant General of the Federation on the inaccuracy of figures provided by government as money spent on subsidy with consequent deduction from the Federation account, which had been countered by emerging facts even from the central bank. Also worried by what it termed the unbridled notoriety of the NNPC in its dealings, the committee drew the attention of the corporation to a document emanating from a foreign government in which it accuses the NNPC of corruption and sharp practices. The chairman of the committee in his closing remark thanked Nigerians for their support and patience during the course of the probe, adding that the committee will ensure a just and objective recommendation that will be beneficial to the people of Nigeria when compiling its report. From the National Assembly Complex in Abuja, I am Musa Baba Ahmed for OGTV News.